Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video and today we're going to talk about multi-window on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now there's a few different ways you'd be able to use multi-window on this device. Now the first one I'm going to talk about is by hitting on your recent app button. And what this is going to do is it's going to show you all those different applications that you have recently opened. Now you're going to see a couple different icons. That X just means that you're going to close out of the application. The one right next to that is going to be open in the split screen or this multi-window. So let's say that you wanted to do YouTube with multi-window. You're just going to click on that little split screen icon and then on the bottom it's going to show you the other applications that was opened. Now if you don't want to use any of these applications here just go over to where it says the app list and then here is where you'd be able to check it out. So if you're going to be doing something maybe with the internet and also your calculator um, or maybe just pretty much almost anything else. What I'm going to do is now is if I don't want it to be calculator because this area right here is kind of illuminated with this little blue color and now when I go on top you can see the blue kind of moved up a little bit what I want to do is I don't really want to use this calculator so I went down here touched it so now this one's the most active now I'm going to hit on recent apps so now I can switch back into a different application if that's not the one that I wanted to use so that is one of the ways you'd be able to switch between your different multi windows. Now a couple things I'm going to show you before I show you the two other different ways of getting into multi window is what this little blue line is able to do. When you tap on the blue line you're going to have the option on the very top to do snap window. Now what you're going to want to do is when you're doing snap window you want to have it again activated on either your top or bottom. So let's just say that um, the rest of the screen I don't really care to watch. Now what I'm doing is I'm just snapping it. I'm, I'm keeping it at this ratio the whole entire time on the extreme top. And then that means that down here, whatever I'm doing, I'm not going to really lose what's on the very top because it kind of snapped it up there and locked it into place. Now, if you don't want that to be locked anymore, you'd also be able to unsnap it. So it's able to kind of change what you're able to see and you can scroll up and down. This one right here is just where you can just switch the windows if you want to switch which one's on the top, which one's on the bottom. Uh, this one right here is going to be open up in pop-up window. So it's kind of a way that you'd be able to move this around. Um, you can also change the size as well. So it's going to kind of operate a little bit kind of like a PC where you have a window on top of another window. So it's kind of a way that you can make this malleable, kind of move it all around, and you'd be able to still text message and everything else. And then when you hit on that blue line one more time, I'm going to show you the very last one, which is closing the application. So that's, that's one way you can close the app. Now, if you don't want to just keep going up and down by switching one to get larger or smaller, let's say that I only want YouTube to stay open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it all the way down to where it kind of goes away and disappears. And that's one of the ways you can get out of multi-window. The other way to get out of multi-window is that if you hit on that little home button, it's going to keep the very top. So what you want to do is you just want to pull down the notifications panel and click on the X. So you can see that there's three different ways of getting out. Either you can press and hold that blue line, take it all the way down to where one of them disappears, or click the blue line, hit on the X, or you'd be able to just hit the home button and then on the very top, just hit on the X that you just saw. Here's the other way you can get into multi-window. Let's say that you're already in a application, but now you want to open up a second. So here is maps and maybe I wanted to open up my music application. When you're inside of a app, instead of just touching the recent apps, what you're going to want to do is stay in your application and press and hold on that recent app button. What that does is it's going to activate multi-window on the very bottom. So in this way, now I can go over into the app list. I'm going to scroll down to where I see the option for Samsung Music. And then now I've got my maps going on, and I also got my music that I'd be able to Bluetooth to my car. Now I do want to circle back and mention that with this application right here, where if you have one opened up and you want to go into multi-window by pressing and holding on that recent apps to open one up extremely fast, if you're not able to do that, here is one of the steps that you do want to take. Hit on your re little recent app button, go to the very top where it says settings, and then you want to have this option right here turned on, which means use recents button. What that does is it says press and hold on the recents button to change the current app from full screen to split screen view. So if you have this turned off, now I will not be able to press and hold on this and open up split screen. But if I was to have this thing toggled on, press and hold, now I'd be able to have the other split screen turned on and then you're ready to go. 
And then a quick way of going also into multi-window is if you already have a create app pair already created. So what I did was I opened up my edge panels. On the very bottom, you can see I have this one that's already paired up, which is maps and music, because a lot of times you're going to be listening to music as you are trying to navigate somewhere. Here's my files and my files, so you can transfer some information from the top to the bottom, bottom to the top, meaning if you're trying to go from your internal storage, maybe over to an SD card. And then this one shows the gallery and text messages, so then I'd be able to just drag and drop images into a text message. Now, if you don't have any of these set up, all you have to do is hit on that little plus icon. On the very top right hand side, go to create app pair. Now you want to think of something that you use all the time. So if you're always maybe using Bitmoji along with maybe Allo, then you'd be able to do it that way. So let's go with Allo, Bitmoji. So in this way you could, you'd be able to send, you know, whoever you're talking to all these different Bitmojis that you have set up. So now all you got to do is you just pull this on open and then you open up your Allo and Bitmoji. And now as I end this video, I want to show you guys a cool little hidden tip and trick. So if you're looking inside of your gallery, let's say that this is a picture that you wanted to send over to your friend over here. Press and hold in this image, take it all the way down over into that little text box. And then now you just copied and pasted this image over here that you'd be able to send it off. So I hope you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys hit on like as well as subscribe. Make sure you guys go below the video, click on subscribe, or you can hit the subscribe button right over here. Make sure you guys share this with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys later.